Hey friends, Gator Rum here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Today I'm gonna to be walking through this adorable mini handbag from Rothy's and also giving you a quick comparison of two of their catch-alls. So I was so torn between this mini handbag from Rothy's and the regular size handbag. I didn't know how they were going to compare. There's not a lot out there online as far as video reviews or pictures that are comparing the two sizes. So I wasn't sure how many this one really was going to be, but I wanted a small compact size that I could carry just for myself, just for my needs, not anything for the kids, something I could throw on crossbody that was cute and compact, and this is definitely that. I was hoping it was gonna be a smidge bigger so that I could throw one or two things to the kids in here if I needed to last minute, but it's definitely not gonna be that bad. <laughs> it is a cute, compact crossbody just for me. I'm excited to eventually get the regular size handbag because I think that's gonna be more of a practical, like everyday bag. Um, I don't know, like I said, how it necessarily compares to this one, but when I get it, I'll make sure to do kind of a walkthrough of that one and a packing video to show you guys what fits in it. But today we're gonna talk all about the mini handbag size. I wanna walk through the bag with you guys and pack a couple things inside so you really know how big it is. And then I also have a new catch-all. Last time I showed you guys the medium size one and today I have the small one that I got mainly to pack in here and I really wanted to get all of the different sizes to show you guys how they compare because that's another thing that I was having a hard time finding on the internet. So. I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera down, show you this little cute bag, and then I'm gonna get into these and show you what will fit inside of them. I love this sea salt color so much. I think it's really pretty. It's a very kind of creamy off-white color. And then on the straps right here at the top, it's accented in like a minty, turquoise <laughs> teal color. And it's just like the perfect little pop of something there on the outside. The hardware on the bag is like a brushed gold color, which is really pretty. And then the zipper is that same gold. The zipper pull here is lined in that accent teal color and the same cream that's on the actual base of the bag. There's no exterior pockets on the bag at all. You have no place for your cell phone or zipper pockets, nothing on the side here of the bag either. On the back, it looks exactly the same as the front, only you have the signature Rothy's blue stripe that's on all of their items. So it's just a very classy and sophisticated type bag. You can obviously just carry it here by the little handles that are at the top, or it comes with the optional crossbody strap in that same hardware, the same brush gold, of course, um, that you can attach to the side of the bag. There's almost like a little bit of a trim to the strap. It's really pretty. I don't know if the camera's picking it up well, but it's almost like trimmed in a lighter sea salt color. So I really like the way that it coat goes with the bag. I think it looks really good. So getting into the bag, not much can fit in here. Like I said earlier, it is for sure a classic mini handbag. Um, when you unzip the zipper, it is attached over here on the side, so you can't unzip it completely. But if you tuck the end tail in over here, you can fold down the flaps really easily and you don't even have to have the bag zipped at all times. You guys know that I love a nice open bag or a tote where I don't necessarily have to have it closed at the top, just easier to get things in and out of, but the flaps lay down really easy. There's no zipper pockets, there's no internal pockets, there's literally nothing in the bag, so you can organize it however you want to organize it. Right here in the front, I just have my keys tucked in here. This is a big O-Venture key ring. I like to have it on here even if I'm having, if I'm carrying a mini bag because I can easily just attach my ring here to the side of the bag, which I do a lot of times, um, instead of putting it inside. So I have my O-Venture ring, I also have my car keys, and then I have my Hello Happy Mom lippy clip, and inside here, is my sun bum chapstick. It does have an SPF in it, so I've been using that a lot this summer. This just kind of goes with me no matter what. So I have that tucked down in there. Then I also have over here to the side a um, spray hand sanitizer. And then I also have 
my face mask. So that's just tucked down over there in the side, really easy to grab. The only other thing I have inside the bag is the smallest catch-all made by Rothy's. I think it's the perfect fit inside this bag. It keeps all the small essentials really nice and compact so they're not getting lost inside the bag. So I'll go ahead and open that in just a second, but I wanna give you a really good view of what the inside of the bag looks like because the base of this mini handbag is that same teal color that is accented throughout the bag. So I loved that. It was one of my favorite kind of pops of color throughout this bag. Now this base here does not come out. It is not removable down there. At least I don't think it is. No, it is sewn into the bag on the sides. So that stays in whenever you go to wash the bag. Um, speaking of washing the bag, I know a lot of you might be a little bit hesitant on a color like this because of it showing wear and dirt and things like that. But all of Rothy's items are machine washable and they actually come with a garment type bag that you can use to wash your bag. So you just throw it in here, throw it in the wash, and then you let it air dry. I love the quality of these bags also. They have like a rubber zipper here at the top and then the actual zippers themselves are really, really smooth. So I feel like they're gonna hold up with a lot of washing. So that comes with the bag also. And then you also have the signature Rothy's dust bag um, to use whenever you're storing your bag. So moving on here, I'm gonna move that back a little bit. As you can see, it stands up completely on its own um, with nothing in it. So it does have a little bit of structure to the bag. So this here is the mini catch-all. It is so adorable. I wasn't sure that I was going to like this size, which is why those of you that kind of caught my other Rothy's video might have already seen this one. I started with this mini set or this the medium size catch all because I wanted to make sure that it was big enough for me to actually hold something in. I wasn't sure how small this was going to be and what would actually fit inside, but I'm going to be completely honest, I really love both of these sizes. I'm excited to get the biggest one next to see how that one compares to these, but I think these are great little accessories and they're perfect for packing in big bags, small bags, all the things, especially this one in like a mini bag. I have a lot of mini bags and I think this is gonna be great to pack in them. So the zipper, just like all of the other Rothy zippers, is really, really smooth. And then this is what I have packed inside. Some of these items might look familiar to things that I typically carry. I have here my phone charger. This is just like a little external um, phone charger if I need that. And then inside here I have my pill case. I also have my um, lip sugar scrub that I've been using a lot in the summer because my lips are crazy dry. I have a big, huge mint um, chapstick. I also have two hair ties tucked down in here. I have a small body shop hand cream. This is in that uh, like orangey citrus satsuma scent. That's so good. And then I also have a nail file as well as a moisture tint lip balm. So all of that fits perfectly fine down inside this small catch-all. I'm actually going to go ahead, I think, and just pack the same items inside this medium one here. Um, and forgive me, maybe it's called, I don't know if they call it small, medium, and large, but this is the middle size. Um, but inside here, you can definitely fit more, obviously. Um, I'm going to pack the same items just quickly in here to give you guys a good picture as to what it looks like with the same exact items. Um, tucked down in here. So this is what it looks like. Lots of room to put whatever else that I need in there. Or of course you don't need to pack it full because the case is structured. So it's not going to flop or anything like that. So there you have it. I love these. I highly recommend them. I think they're different than anything that I have um, and anything that's out there. And I think that they're really fun to kind of pack your bags with. So again, this is just a good little shot on how the two of them compared to one another. They're, uh, the middle one is a little bit longer and wider than the smallest one, just for comparison's sake. All right, so there you have it. I hope this video was helpful for those of you that were looking for a comparison between these two size catch-alls from Rothy's. Again, the smallest one and the medium one, and then also the mini handbag here. I know it's hard to really get a picture online how much this will hold and how big it actually is. So I hope this was helpful. I will have links to everything below as well as my referral code. I believe it is $20 off. If there's something that you're looking for that you don't see, please feel free to shoot me a message or leave a comment below. I'm always happy to help. So have a great day. I'll talk to y'all on my next video.